Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today we're with Casper and Storm, and we're taking a look at this fish ship. Now this ship we saw quite a lot in the underworld. It was a really cool design, and a lot of you guys wanted to know a little bit more about it. So we're here with Casper and Storm themselves, and they've got a few other little ships to show us as well. So what was the inspiration behind this design, guys? So we went off from Atlantis and Bioshock, basically trying to recreate or at least get a bit of a design inspiration from the Atlantis ship and some of the Bioshock feelings, being rusty and you know, yellow colours. Mm, no, I do like the look of it. I like, I like the fish, even though everyone was building fish things in the underworld. But let's have a quick look at some of these other fighters before we go inside anyway. So what's this particular one we're looking at here with the Gatling guns either side? Uh, that's a Piranha Fighter, just a small hydrogen ship which can dock inside the Ulysses, the main carrier. And these have got a little cockpit here, that's pretty cool, and they're all hydrogen so they're quite maneuverable and they've got the connector down on the bottom. So why have they got the little yellow head on the front, what's inspired that? Uh, that's basically taking after the, the Ulysses, you know, it helps uh -huh. that big yellow globe so all the fighters need to go by, the, by that look. Oh, okay, so it's kind of matching, what was that style? We like to colour coordinate in this in our faction. <laughs> so what's this one that's a little bit chunkier up here? What's this one about? Uh, that's the groupie Rocketeer, just a slightly bigger ship, which had a rocket pod on it, could follow the uh, the Ulysses and do some rocket run. And is this one just an atmospheric one, so it's only got atmospheric thrust? Yeah, since some of the underworld parts were atmospheric, you could use the atmospheric thrusters down there, or you could just you know put iron thrusters in. Mm -hmm. What about this guy up here? With the, obviously, he's color coordinated once again with these two yellow sort of tips. Uh, that's a Tiger Shark Bomber. It makes gravity missiles, and we actually tried it at one of the bases. Uh, and you can just launch warheads at the base easily and fast. So, could this make a gravity missile now if you get inside it? And let's have a quick look at it. Yeah, that's a good question. I'll try. All right, well, let's see if you can make one on the spot. So it's got some cool little catwalks along the side, and it's got like the rear fins and the connector at the back. So would this dock with the larger ship, or would this be something that would dock with your base? Oh, okay, it's using the gravity of. Yeah, that's a lot of gravity going on right now, but it's working. Okay, yeah, because gravity weapons in it did did scare me out. It's literally pooping them out. Right, let's <laughs> let's continue let's on. Continue. And what's the idea about this here? With this, because I see you've got some ejectors here. Was was that so you could drop ore out the back as you were mining and refining? Let me show you two seconds. Actually, I don't know if they're on. Do, 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 do. I'll turn them on. Okay. Let me fly back over here. So the idea was in the underworld, because the gravity and everything was very confusing, um, we decided to come up with a gravity collector. So we'd have a miner ship just set to eject. Mm -hmm. And it would collect all up through the back of the ship and then process it straight away. So oh, as you can see, it's so a it gravity sucked collector. It in. Wow, yeah. that's really cool. I really like that idea. You should have told me about that earlier. You didn't say anything at all. So, oh, so as as Casper's dropping the R, now it sucks it in. Yeah. So oh, that one bounced off. Wizard very helpfully helped us um, figure that figure this one out because it was a little bit confusing trying to get the the gravity fields the right way. Wow. Um, to like push it where it needed to push and then pull it where it needed to pull. Right, yeah. let, let, should we take a look inside then at this guy? Should we head into the hangar? So we've got more of, what are these little ships ones called again? The Piranha. The Piranha type ones. Why are they called the Piranha? They, they don't really particularly look like a Piranha or did you just want to give it cool fish names? Yes. We just needed <laughs> a cool fish name. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, to the back or the front, let's go to the front first. So as we come through here, and Aaron's gravity tends to pull his legs down, they've got some lovely LSG uh, merchandise on the image there. A little kitchen, a whale on the monitor. They've also got themselves like an armory and a shower block there. Coming onto the main bridge, we have this... Is this the, ma is this the main bridge, or is there a, a bridge somewhere else hidden? Yeah, we, we have another bridge. This one is just for the looks. You can oh, stand okay. out here, oh, okay. you know, you can have a good viewing of the outside. And of course, if you're playing in only in first person view, you'd have a whole bunch of people out here directing you. Oh, wow. Let's um, head into the back of the ship then. Let's walk away through. 
So, hang on, should we go upstairs first? We'll go upstairs while we're here. So we've got the med bays and stuff on that side. We've got ourselves a little locker with some ammunition and we've got a blueprint of the actual ship in a nice little fish tank sort of thing at the top. And this, it leads us up to the command... Is this command centre? What would you describe this area as, Casper? Yeah, this is definitely the command centre. Free control pits to uh, come and the ship, some desks and everything. Mm -hmm. And is this the main seat then? So this is where you would control it from? Yeah, absolutely. Everything around here is heavy armour as well, so you don't just die from an incoming rocket attack. Okay, very, very nice. Let's keep working our way through. We've got so we've got a lot of plants, so I guess you can you're living off these or something, or they're producing oxygen. We've got a view down into the hangar bay that I have to say looks absolutely spectacular. I can imagine some fighters being launched as you're looking down from up there. So if we continue down here, this is the maintenance shaft, isn't it? Yeah, this is the maintenance shaft. Everything was built to be survival ready. So of course you need to be able to get into all your connectors, all your thrusters, so you can repair them if they get damaged. You probably need a little warning sign saying don't come in here when it's on, but so you don't burn to death. <laughs> right, let's, we'll, let's... we'll let people know. Bye. Yes. <laughs> right, uh, let's head back down and then we'll work our way through the hangar bay into the very special party room at the back. And how easy was this to navigate while you were on the underworld? Once we got gravity, the gravity, like a single gravity generator on to make an artificial gravity it wasn't actually so bad because like walking around inside in terms of flying uh, that was more casper <laughs> <laughs> right, down but, the no i was having a quick look at your other maintenance shaft so let's go into the back room here so this is the second hangar bay that they saw from underneath you've got some of the little tadpole type ships in the back here and you also got a miner that you said that was a new addition Yes, that was from the Frozen server. We just wanted to highlight how this was the intended use for this belly hanger was for a miner, which could then go out, mine, and then use the rear gravity collectors to um, pull in the ore. Very cool indeed. Oh, a bit too much gas there. <laughs> she is thrusty. Well, there we go. That's a quite quite a cool little launch. You can go mining and then go sucking all the ore in. Let's um, continue exactly. heading around to the back, if I can gravity will allow me past the nice little thruster room and then well, so what's this back section is this just a party room what's yeah is, is that all what you ships need a party room so is, is that what you describe it as casper a party room <laughs> a nightclub thing male dominated uh -huh. nightclub <laughs> Oh, with, with dance nice I don't know, really know what to say, but you know, the thing is, I missed this before because when we did the original tour, I didn't actually show them this magnificent work of art here. So, this is clearly an image of me, not my face actually stuck on Ricardo. You can see, I mean, I like how you put my chin really low down so it looks like I just merge all into one. Very nice, very nice, very nice very sculpt nice. in there, Casper. Good, good artwork. Let's, let's wrap that one up there before it gets any more awkward with everyone just staring into the picture of me on the wall of this ship. All right. So to, to wrap this one up, Casper, uh, we're going to have this on the workshop? Yeah, I'm going to release the whole fleet on the workshop once I uh, take some iron thrusters to the ship only having atmospheric ride. All right. So fingers crossed it'll be up on the workshop and we'll get a link from Casper. More of that in the description below. Anyway, let's thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time.